What is this? Congratulations, you have been awarded $400,000 and in-game items. What is the what? The what? A bucket of what? See, right now it's just taking its time because in-game items take a long time to load up. I'll bet you, I'll bet you they're really, really high-resolution, large file size in-game items, and that's why it's taking so long to join DK Online. It has, I'm sure, nothing at all to do with the fact that I'm currently uploading a race for, for win on Sunday in October called Blame It on the Vicodin. You can look forward to that. It should be coming out October 27th. Yeah, we're planning ahead here. We're planning, we're planning ahead. Okay, so that didn't work as far as uh, it, it, that, that session never loaded. And I did load back in and didn't really see anything as far as special promotional stuff getting loaded into uh, into the game. And I'm a little bit um, yeah, I'm a little bit shy of being able to do a bunker run here. But there are things to do. There are things to do presently. Let's head outside here. Ah, I see we have the lemon mobile, or at least one of them. We might as well change style. Ta-da! There we go. Alright, that looks kind of cool. Now, there is one way we can determine if we got all the diamond bonus things. At least one of the diamond bonus Welcome. things. Use clay needles, mostly. Mostly. Okay, how do we do this? So if we go to chest, there it is. The, I'm undiscovered. The triple seven uh, tattoo that's supposed to come with the casino if you finish the casino missions. And no, I get that. But at least we know that it's available. It's unlocked. That means we've probably. I'm gonna say probably. I've gotten all of the casino stuff, all the, the diamond stuff for for killing ourselves for that week. I'm gonna do all those missions on the both characters. We'll check it on the other character too. Now this is of course my Top Gear slash Grand Tour homage garage. Filled with the kind of vehicles you'd expect from the Top Gear Garage. And with all the new cars coming out, it's going to need some upgrades, I think. There's going to have to be some cars that are going to have to leave. This one in particular. Now, this is a gauntlet that I, I built to pay homage to Richard Hammond's Hellcat that he drove in Italy during one of the Grand Tour episodes. But now that we're actually getting... I can't remember if that was a Hellcat or a Demon. It was, it was, one, it was one of the 700 horsepower plus ones. But now that we're getting a custom gauntlet that's just like that one. This one might have to go. I have to, I'll have to go back and watch that. Make sure that they're, the new one matches it just as closely. And that, you know, the, the nose and tail are, are close enough. This one, I think we can move to another garage, the Sultan, because it, although it does fit the genre, I don't think there's anything specific about it. This was very specific. These three Mustangs, very specific, of course. Uh, the Warner, again, the Warner is just kind of more of a theme piece to it. That, that could probably move somewhere else as we get new vehicles. Boopity, boopity, boopity. And up here, of course, we got all the buggies from the buggy. Those, are, I guess, are going to stay. This could probably end up in another garage. Because although it does have, you know, ties to the, the Grand Tour's conflicts with Mexico, there wasn't really anything about it that's, uh, that's very Grand Tour. It is very difficult to get. That's a collectible. We're keeping that. Uh, of course, the 6x6, this is a direct reference to uh, an episode of the Grand Tour. Uh, these are both Richard Hammond vehicles. This is, you know, this one references when he took that giant armored car and smashed for buildings and things like that. So some of these are definitely going to stay. But I'm wondering where this might. Maybe we'll move this one across the street. 
Let's, let's do that. I mean, certainly it's a turbo collectible, but we definitely need some room. So slow. Lemonade! Okay, how much more room we got here? That was like the last spot. Okay, so if we're gonna move anything else, we're gonna have to move it somewhere else. We don't have anything here that's blown up, do we? I was like, was this full and I just screwed something up? No, nothing's blown up. We're, we're okay. But at least we've gotten that out of there. Let's take... Hmm, for the short term. People today, no, not really. I'm making these moves because I'm making purchases here. Because, as you know, the... Uh, the sheer force of Rockstar sales is overwhelming me again. Let's move this one out. It's actually, you know, I, I am getting the temptation to start grinding again just so you can get to keep up with. Alright, sorry, we're not going here anyway. This way you can keep up with the. Um, the sales as they keep coming because there are a couple cars that I want believe it or not and they're not critical cars not like well you can't live without cars otherwise I'd have them but with the with the twitch prime sales taking stuff 75 percent down and things like that well, this, this car does hand this pushes a little bit it is zippy but with all the sales and everything that's going on it does push you expensive. I mean, by the time you're done with it, you've got a million dollars. Which means you got you think, well, gee, normally this would be five million dollars or something like that. At least three million dollars. So I'm basically making two million dollars. And the logic is inarguable. I missed the turn. Again. Reversing. Oh, look at that. You pushed me back further. That's just... Okay, so let's get back to casino, spin the wheel, see if we win anything before we buy anything. I, tell JT. I know, you're depressed. <coughs> I may even consider. And boy, every time I say this, I, I immediately think, no, I don't want to do that. Consider, you know, restocking my, my biker businesses, but they're so painful. I mean, I know I could go full-on professional and really crank through some stuff here. It may be, be worth doing just... Oh, we have to get this in the garage. There's room. There's room. I know there's room in this garage. It's not going to stay in this garage, probably. While we're, you know, let's just do, let's do the thing. We'll do the thing with the other. Of course, if I win a random vehicle, it's the same vehicle. I'll feel silly. I've already won two, actually. I've won this car here. And Rusty Jack has uh, won the Schlagen. So we're, we're doing pretty good with all that. Go to the casino. Everybody wants to win the Lost Slam Van because, obviously, but there's such a low chance of it. Bump, there it is. Can we can we win two Schlagens? But there's supposed to there's supposed to be a way of glitching glitching it into your uh, glitching it into your garage. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to do that. Lucky wheel spin. We want to spin what we would call a lucky wheel. Spin it in. Wiggity. 
I noticed that the sooner you hit S, the faster it goes. So it seems like there's an invisible power meter going back. Are you serious? We have won double Schlagens. I'm not kidding. That's... That's a lot of podium vehicles, folks. Well, folks, this is the last time you will see a podium vehicle, this podium vehicle, on my podium, because then they take the car away. Now, let's just soak this in. Look at that. The beautiful Slavin GT, which will be mine. And I have a Schlagen. This gives me two Schlagens. That one probably... Now, you know what? We're going to put the uh, the green Schlagen in the uh, in the Top Gear garage. This is, I think the, the vehicles I win, I'm going to try and keep in the penthouse garage. But, wow, look at the Lemonade Man. Are you admiring my car, sir? I hope you do indeed like it because it's mine. It's coming home with me. Be nice if you actually had an animation where they drive it off and drive it into your garage. And let's see. I need some chips to buy some masks before I do more purchases. Because, you know, we're dedicating. We're dedicating a certain amount of money every day to absolute crap. So let's go over here before we go down to our garage and make some other purchases. And we'll cut to the chase on the purchases soon. Um, now, we're going to try and mask it up. Jack of diamonds. Jack of clubs. Hurts. What can we afford? I think we can afford it all. Sounds good. All the masks. Okay. There should be an achievement for collecting all the masks. <laughs> nope, we're going back to the lemon. What's wrong, Lauren? Nothing. I just wish the others were here. Oh, come yeah. on. We don't need them. What can you do when you're standing next to your car? Why not buy another car? If we go to the legendary motorsports. Let's scroll down. Okay, we already have a pair of Diveste 8s, although that's a great deal. You can see it's 800000 off. How would you not? We just won $1.3 million, folks. That's what we have there. We could probably sell that off and get something back on it. But the Neon, the Fister Neon. Now, I'm sure if this isn't a, 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 a Grand Tour or, you know, Top Gear kind of thing, they're gonna, this is because this is going to be an actual Porsche car. And they're going to do something on this Porsche Electric that's coming out. And I'm, you know, I think this is definitely something we're going to want to get. Do we want it in white? It is attractive in white. Would it be more attractive in yellow or green? Let's leave it white. We'll just leave it leave it as it is for right now. We'll maybe we'll give it some kind of custom paint. But I actually when I imagine the, the neon I always think of it in white. So let's get that in order. We're gonna put that in the top tier garage. Three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars as opposed to one point five million. So that we just saved one point two million. And if we scroll down, can we scroll down here? We're sold, we have to go home. Back into the legendary. There's another car on sale for a radical discount. Well, the Tempesta, that's another good deal. And that would fit. See, which would fit more? The Reaper, see the Reaper is the real turbo deal here. It's 1.2 million down there. It's half price here. Well, that's a good deal, but the Tempesta, eh. It's very much like the, the Gallardo they talked about in Top Gear. It's like, it just doesn't move me. It's beautiful. It's a great performer. Why don't I want it? There's some interesting psychology about that. Maybe it's because I've seen Top Gear and they have that opinion. 
Whereas this one, the one point, yeah, another 1.2 million saved, there's a there's a, a viciousness to it that is just, you know, fatal brain hemorrhage reference. That's cool. And it's not, this isn't nearly as fast as Tempesta. Tempesta is a faster car. And yet... In green. That will be my second Top Gear slot pending. Do I get the, do I try to go for the Tempesta while it's on a wild sale? It's only 600,000. You see how the psychology works. Why wouldn't you? Three hundred. Basically, another six hundred thousand safe. You know. But hey, I'm interested in driving it. Do we want it in? Yeah. Could this be a lemonade car? Lemon. We could make that. We could make that one of the lemon cars. Okay, we're gonna order that. We're gonna put that one downstairs. Casino penthouse. So there's a spending spree for you. The service sucks. A big one in this place. Now the only one of those that I think I'd actually drive in a race. I mean, the Tempest is doable. But would I would I take it over my my um, devastate? Probably not. Maybe on a closed road course, and eventually, eventually. I mean, look, I'm not I'm not doing this immediately. So this is just too much money for the short term. I am going to get an Emirates, and that is going in the Top Gear garage. That's going to happen. But 2.75 million, I might hold off for a little while. We're going to see. If I get myself back up to where this looks more like a 30 million as opposed to 11 million, then maybe we'll do that. But in the short term, I'm going to see if I can, if the if the Devastate can can take it to the Emirates at some of these races at some point. I'm going to do that. Now you might think it's completely pointless for me to double up on my cars here to get the uh, the same cars for uh, the rusty Jack I need her here. And that's kind of true. I don't know. Will he want a Reaper? Will his, will his character want a Reaper? I'm going to get him a Neon because there are certain tracks where that would be just useful. The others, I don't I don't know. I mean, the Tempesta, yeah. Almost always there's a way of using a Tempesta. But I don't know that I'd take it out. Not anymore. He's already won one. That's amazing. Both characters won the same car. What do we win the day? What are we going to win? We're going to spin. Spin the win. Tappity, tappity, tappity to get the fastest crankity dooter. All right. If he wins the car again, does he win anything? No, now we're going to win. No. Hey, 30K. Been a lucky day. Get some coinage. Can we get coinage here? Now, you can only do that once per hour, no matter what the character is, which is an interesting thing. Pop over to Legendary. Now, you know what? One other thing that's going on. I almost forgot about this. We'll have to switch it back. No, 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 no. Yes. In orange, of course. Order and put that downstairs. I don't even know what I have room in right now at this point with this character. Orange Neon. I think I'll skip the others for a moment because you know what else is happening. If we go to Alita's Travel, look at this. We got Blimps, the Velatus. Where's the, the Super Velito? The, where's the Swift? This looks really good. Carbon. Let's 
750,000 for the Swift. Flying Bravo. What's the Flying Bravo? That does look cool. Classic. That's like... Oh, I see. That's what the, what the variation price is. Is it worth 50k for the Flying Bravo? I think. Yeah. Now, you need a helicopter. I found out to use the helicopter services. You need one of these. Just... Just to be able to use it. But, you know, it won't pull in my buzzard or anything else like that or any of the other stuff. Um, do we want the... Uh, the Volatas. That's a 1.1 million dollar sale. Volatas has the highest top speed, I think, and the other one's actually a little bit more nimble. Will I notice the difference? Well, we'll, we'll ponder this. We'll ponder this and come back to it. Um, let's see, the Dodo. I think we already have the Dodo. Buy it now for free. That's free Dodo. I think I normally get the Dodo for free. Hey, free dodo. Blimp. Do we need a blimp? I don't think we need a blimp. The Swift Deluxe? No thanks. Still entirely too costly. Good deal on the Maverick, too. We've already got the other one. That's, that's good. We'll have to, we're going to have to make sure that we have that. Let's go take this Neon out for a spin. Where's the closest? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this is what we can go to. Your car, great. Check the silence. Cargo battle run. Ooh, whoa, wait, whoa. So it's not super tight. It's definitely not, you know. Oh, let's see. Steal the bags from the slaughterhouse one. That one can be a little annoying. We've got a dodo. What? What the? Don't say anything. I don't know you, or maybe I do. I, oh no! I don't remember. <laughs> I got a job. Modder. A job that's so hot, we're gonna bury it in an ex-government facility under about a hundred feet of desert. <laughs> you think you're up for it? Buy the facility on May's bank and I'll meet you. Let's see if I pull a heavy revolver on him if he doesn't... Yeah, there we go. Go away. See? Guns can make things more friendly. What is going on here? Well, that's just great. We're gonna have to go around. Around there, around, and around. We got a modder. Yeah, yeah. Can we get underneath that? Like a bridge? It's definitely been. A bad day at the airport. The okay. Bad day at the airport for you. Let's zip in here and modify this puppy up. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? I don't know. Can you work on electric cars? That's a thing. Repair it first of all because I've been... Crashing into magic aeroplanes. Brakes. We're going to need brakes. Bumpers. I don't know. I kind of like the way this one looks. Let's, let's go. Let's leave this stock. Engine. I guess that would be bigger capacitors. Stronger batteries. Double stripe. Single stripe. No. No stripe. Mirrors. Race mirrors. Primary rear. Oh, down there. The cam rear cameras. I don't know if I'd like that. It looks cool, but I'd rather have actual mirrors in a in a car. Let's see, plate. 
see you later. Respray, we'll leave it orange for right now. Skirts. Go to stock skirt, primary skirt. Let's make it as orange as possible. Spoiler, now this is a thing, because we do need some kind of spoiler. Is there anything that's not a really obnoxious? They look all pretty obnoxious. Yeah, let's make it as orange as possible. None to 6,000. Okay, I thought it said 60,000. I'm like, what? The wheels are pretty dope. I think I'm going to leave the wheels alone, although we're going to make them, uh, make the tires uh, bulletproof. Man, you make business. Uh, oh, entire smoke. Make it as orange as possible. Windows. Eh. Do we want to smoke them up? It's really tough if you smoke them up and then you end up in a first person race that someone has decided to be cute with. So here you have it. The race ready neon. No. Hooray! See, this guy has messed anything else up. Yikes. Now, interesting little side note here. You can spread the mayhem, I think. Now, let's do this. I'm going to change my... Uh, just for... I'm going to change this to last location so we stay roughly here. And then... Find a new session. <laughs> That's, that might keep the airplanes there. That's why I'm, I'm doing that. But we'll lose that on the... Yeah, let's try it. Let's see if this happens. If we find a new session, we'll bring those airplanes into the new session. And we will spread the mayhem. Which is an interesting public service. We're going to do this as an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work. Ideally, it wouldn't. Like, if you just say, oh, there's a modder here and there's stuff all over the place, I'll just change session. Then if it clears up, then that's a good thing because you won't have to exit the game. But, nope. I'm now in a completely different session and I have brought with me the airplanes of the last session. So people will now think there's a modder in game. But in reality, it was just me trying to get away from a modder and that's... I've done this before with spacecraft. I didn't know if it would work with planes, but that's apparently a thing, gang. So if you want to spread the mayhem, now you know how. And if you want to avoid the mayhem, well, now the only way you can do it is to exit your game. You have to completely exit the game. Let's see, but will changing characters do it? Let's see, maybe that'll fix it. Okay, as we close on the city now as the CEO in pajamas slash lemonade man. Uh, do we see the same issue? Where are those planes? Did we clear them? Did swapping characters drop you out enough? Nope. No, it doesn't. That doesn't work, does it? So I swapped characters. And the planes are still in the new session. Am I the only one who can see these? Or is this, you know, something that affects people in general? What's that though with the uh, the red uh, stuff here? Oh, that's just somebody's got the got the product. I'm not going after that. They make it look like it's NPCs. 
So there you have it, folks. If you have a modder come into game and he covers your area with stuff like these airplanes, uh, the only way you can get away from it is by exiting the game, coming back in altogether. Once he's once he's polluted your session, you'll continue to pollute other people's sessions. And that's an interesting point. I can't jump up here. No, but you know what I can do while I'm here. I could get another helicopter so I could get one from the... Uh... Let's see, where is this one? Volatus. Man, we're down below 10 million. Do I really want to spend it on the Volatus? I guess so. It looks cool. And then... Because it's actually probably the better helicopter. Where's the Swift? The regular Swift. It's the Maverick. Maverick is a nice classic kind of thing. Volata, Super Volito, Super Volito Carbon, Swift. There we are. We'll get this one in black. We'll save the 50k. And how much is a Maverick? Let's helicopter ourselves out, right? Dodo. I think I have a Dodo. Thought I had a Dodo. You already have yeah, there. We already have the Dodo. Half price basically on those. It's a pretty good. Half price on the Maverick. Is there any benefit to getting a Maverick? You could shoot out the side doors, but I mean, I have other stuff that can do that. No, I don't see myself getting a Maverick. It was a good deal. But on this note, let's let's just pose here. Pose here with the mayhem. So just so you're aware, there's lots of wonder. You know, the sales are working. I'm now going to have to grind for more millions of dollars to make up for the million dollars I just saved. Sales are things. Well, understand the psychology. It works, and you, 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 this is how you end up broke. And on that note, this is your Black Knight, aka the Lemonade Man. I do love that mask. Have a great night. Where the heck is Sturgis? You got to be kidding me! Are you serious?